The Love Talk Show on Liberty Radio. Wounded and have no idea. Mm -hmm. Tonight we're going to talk about people who have wounds. Wounds in their love life and they have no idea they do. Yeah, and not only in the love life. But maybe growing up, yeah. wounds uh, because of something that happened in their family, abuse, abuse rejection, and it affects relationships, yeah. right? Affects your love life mm -hmm. for sure. Uh, uh, someone hurt you, mm -hmm. or you had a disappointment in your love life in your yes. past, and this changed the way you see things. Yeah, you know, Mila. Normally, those people who are wounded. They cannot believe in love stories. They don't believe in love stories. They see, when the, whenever they see a couple, they say, no, they must be lying. Mm -hmm. It's not possible. I don't believe someone can be happy. I, I just don't believe. Because they have been so disappointed, right? Yeah. And perhaps you have certain habits and behaviors that you don't understand. You always repeat the same behaviors in, in the relationships that you're in, but it's because you have something unresolved, right? You're wounded in the past, and until you um, you resolve that, then that's when you're going to be able to, to exactly. be happy. So let's give some signs that you are, when a person is wounded. Let's give some signs. There we go. Uh, the person has anger. Hatred or desire for revenge. So this is a sign of an open wound. Okay? A person has anger, hatred, or desire for revenge. So you cannot forgive. Mm -hmm. You cannot let go. You have resentments. You still want to take revenge. This is an open wound. Yeah. And, and this will... Hurt your relationships for sure. This mm -hmm. is poisonous. This is very dangerous. Yes, people that are hurt, the tendency is for them to hurt other ah, people yes. as well. Yes, they're going to be hurting other people as well. And the cycle mm -hmm. continues, right? Uh, second one, you hurt yourself. How you hurt yourself? Well, cutting yourself, yes. But you hurt yourself... When you keep on remembering things. Mm -hmm. You hurt yourself because you enter in relationships you know. That are wrong. They are wrong. Yeah, they're not, the person is not right for you, but you don't value yourself anymore. You're so hurt that yeah. you don't have any self-value left. And you go into these wrong relationships. So you're hurting yourself. You you look at the mirror and you, and you say... Bad things of yourself. Yeah, you think lowly of yourself. Yeah, you, you're hurting yourself. You're mm -hmm. hurting yourself. You so, deprive yourself from being happy as well because you stop yeah. believing in, in, in love, right? Yeah. You say, no, I'm going to stay alone. And, and you hurt yourself when you mm -hmm. let pass the opportunities they are brought yes. to you. Mm -hmm. For example, I'm not going to the love walk. I'm not going to the love therapy. You, it's a form of hurting yourself. You're hurting yourself. Yeah, if you're not helping yourself, you're hurting yourself. Right? Yeah. And, and you know, Mila, uh, the fact that people, they resist coming to the love therapy, it's a sign of an open wound. Mm -hmm. If you are resistant, pay attention to this now, okay? Please pay attention to this now that I'm going to tell you. If you, Shad, can you put me closer there? If you resist coming to the love therapy, when, when someone invites you, let's go to the love therapy, you hear this word, love, and you, you get on the defensive. You don't want to hear about this. You, you, you don't, you, you don't want to pass by, you know, the entrance of the church on a Thursday. <laughs> 8 p.m. <laughs> you, you don't want to pass in front of the church on a Thursday 8 p.m. You, 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 you can't, you know, you can't hear this word. This is already a sign that there's something wrong. You're avoiding something. Yeah, but avoiding, mm -hmm. avoiding, Chad, it's not going to solve the problem. No. You have to deal with this. You have to find, you have to go to the root and heal this wound. 
And how many people, Mila, they resist coming to the love therapy? Yeah, so the wound is there. Mm -hmm. And they know that if we're going to talk about topics and about things that is going to kind of like... Mm -hmm. touch the wound but not to you know when you yeah. when you have when you were a kid and you 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 hurt yourself you fell your knees bleeding and you know that your mom is gonna come with something with like alcohol and it's gonna sting mm -hmm. but it's not to hurt you it's to cure you right yeah but a lot of people they they, they want to avoid the pain like they don't want to even even touch on the subject yeah, but 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 then it was. But we need to treat. There. We need, we need to, to treat it. in order to heal and become a scar. Yeah. You stop believing others. Mm -hmm. You don't believe uh, they are good men. You don't believe they are good women. You don't believe you can be happy in your love yeah. life anymore. You don't believe in the testimony of others. Mm -hmm. You look at a happy couple. You don't believe it. You don't. Be I can't believe they are happy. And you, it's like you cheer for them to separate. When people mm -hmm. separate, you say, you see, I was right. It's, it's like, like you. Even, even like an evil happiness, right? Some evil happiness. Like you hope people, uh, they, they end up just like you. Yes. You don't want anyone to be happy because you're not happy. You don't want mm -hmm. anyone to be happy. And number four, you isolate yourself. Look at this. Yeah. Isolate yourself. Someone might try to... Oh, let me introduce someone to you. Oh, no. You know, they, yeah. they isolate themselves. They don't even want to try anymore. It's a sign of a wound. Yeah. There's something there that you need to treat. Mm -hmm. Right? Why you isolate yourself? Because you don't want people to find out. You yeah. don't want to deal with that. Yeah. You just want to keep it dormant. It's still yeah. there. You want to keep it there. Yeah. But you don't want people to, to see what's there. Mm -hmm. And number five, you avoid... Dealing with past issues. Yeah, this is the people that don't come to the love therapy, right? <laughs> yeah. This is the same example. Yeah, you avoid talking about it. Mm -hmm. You don't want to talk about it. You you avoid. And you know, Mila, it's so beautiful when we hear people giving their testimony because they they tell their testimony like if they are talking about some someone else. It's, it's not like they are talking about themselves. Mm -hmm. They tell this testimony, everything wrong that they did, all that they suffered. Mm -hmm. They talk about that like if they were speaking about someone else, someone yeah. they know. Because it's healed. The wound mm -hmm. is gone. There's only a scar. They can openly talk about it. It doesn't hurt anymore. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. But people who are still wounded... They avoid it. Ah, they don't want to talk they about it. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to deal with it. Because just, these issues are still there. Yeah. Right? They, they still there. These issues are there. They don't want to hear about it. They don't want to come to the love therapy. They don't want anyone to invite them. They don't want to deal with this. Open wound. Six. You hold negative feelings against someone. I believe that's the same as the hatred. Mm -hmm. Right? The anger. Yeah. Desire for revenge. And seven. You have given up on your dreams. You gave up on being happy. Because you went through a, a deception, a disappointment, betrayal. You say, you know what? That's it. That's it. I don't want this anymore. It's all a lie. I'm not going to suffer. I'm never going to put myself in this position again. I don't want to go through this ever, ever again in my life. You, because you are wounded. It's still hurting. So you need to, to be healed. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a report I'd like to show to you. Uh, let's see uh, the wounds that the celebrities have to deal with, mm -hmm. right? Let's go now to the celebrities. Let's see what's going on with them. Trauma, disappointments and negative experiences can influence the way some people deal with their relationships. The wounds they acquired from their past experiences are not always overcome. Many celebrities do not seem to want to deal with their frustrations and do everything they can to hide a possible wound that is still very open. Successful celebrities like Sharon Stone, Drew Barrymore and Selena Gomez are examples of how the disappointments they suffered have affected their lives and choices. 
At the age of 64, after two failed marriages and having had three children, Sharon Stone has said that she does not want to date anymore. What she has stated suggests that Stone does not believe in people anymore. I've had it with dating because I just find people to be insincere and not worth my time. The actress famously declared this as she featured on Drew Barrymore's talk show. According to a close source, actress and presenter Drew Barrymore also shares the same opinion. No way. Drew is not interested in dating anymore. The famous 47-year-old star and mother of two daughters has been divorced three times. Barrymore has also had a string of failed relationships. In her baggage, the actress carries a past of addictions to alcohol and drugs that began at the age of nine when she was first dazzled by the world of cinema. At 14, she attempted suicide and spent a year and a half in a mental health clinic. All of these can make one conclude that a number of wounds accumulated from Barrymore's childhood are yet to be healed. In Selena Gomez's case, she appears to not know how to deal with the consequences of a failed relationship. Her troubled relationship with singer Justin Bieber between 2012 and 2018 left her with some wounds. Since then, she has reportedly not had a boyfriend. Gomez has stated in an interview with Genius, Some days, when I wake up and I'm annoyed, I'm like, I'm going to be alone forever. Gomez has also said that she finds it difficult to trust people because popularity gets in the way of her relationships. I can't meet someone and know if they like me for me, said the singer. Whilst other people find it difficult to deal with losses, this can end up interfering in their relationships as it happened to actor Keanu Reeves. The actor's father left his family when Reeves was just a toddler. In 1993, he lost his best friend and actor, River Phoenix, who died from a drug overdose. In 1998, Reeves met and fell in love with Jennifer Syme, who became pregnant with their child. The baby was still born at eight months and Syme was tragically killed in a car accident a mere 18 months later. Reeves told a magazine, People have a misconception that you can deal with grief and say, It's gone and I'm better. They're wrong. When the people you love are gone, you're alone. This was how and why he apparently decided to live by being alone for almost two decades. It is believed that Reeves had not settled down in any relationship during this time. More recently, however, in 2019, he started dating visual artist Alexandra Grant. A source has told Life & Style Weekly that Grant is one of the few people who has managed to get Keanu to open up about his emotions and past. It is also said that Reeves is extremely happy with Grant. Sometimes the wounds can be there and they might not even hurt as long as you don't touch them. However, it is possible to heal them and eliminate all the issues they bring to your present once and for all. Stay tuned to find out how. Heather, do you think or do you believe a person that's been hurt in the past, emotionally speaking, can this person enter in a new relationship? And how do you think this will affect a new relationship? Um, yeah, I think anybody who's been hurt has the ability to be in a relationship again. Um, if we're talking about time span, then that's going to depend on the person. It's obviously going to depend on the trauma that they faced as well, and on the personality in terms of how they've dealt with the hurt. Have they just suppressed it or have they actually worked through it? It really depends on, on the individual, to be honest. I think some people will can not really realize at the time how hurt they may have been. Um, and some obviously need that period where they need to, you know, introspect, reflect, heal uh, before they can move on. Did it ever happen with you being in a relationship 
and being hurt because of betrayal, cheating, or and things that was said uh, have a, have ever happened with you? Yeah, I'm sure. I think probably anybody that you ask if they're honest, they will have been hurt at some point. It's just human nature. What was your reaction at the time uh, when you find out? Uh... Um, well, obviously hurt, uh, shame, um, anger, like there's many emotions that you go through. Um, and I think sometimes uh, when it's raw, when it's when it's new, you actually don't realize all the different emotions that are happening at the same time. Um, so for me personally, I had to sort of like step away and, and process it, allow myself to go through those different set of emotions, um, learn from it as best as I could, um, and then move on. Joe, uh, do you believe or do you think a person that being hurt, uh, emotionally speaking, entering a new relationship and be successful or to be happy on that relationship? Or how would that affect a person that uh, being hurted in the past enter in a new relationship? I think everybody carries baggage with them for, from the, their previous relationships. Your next relationship is maybe informed quite a lot by the relationship you had previously because X went wrong with your last partner, you might look for Y with this person. So I think you can carry that hurt and that trauma with you. Hopefully you can resolve all of your trauma and your issues before you jump into the next relationship. What was your reaction when you're being hurt or things happen in your relationship? What was your reaction? Lots of crying and therapy and, um, you know, needing my friends and family around me to support and help me. Kitty, do you think, do you believe a person that being hurt, emotionally speaking, enter in a new relationship without being healed before? Yeah, I think that happens all the time. And I think that your healing journey is not kind of a finite thing where it's done and you're ready to move on I think but obviously you need to kind of take responsibility for what's your baggage and what you're projecting onto a partner. Do you believe you're you're healed from the wounds in the past that happened in previous relationship? I like to think of it like um, you know I can't remember what it's called but in uh, some areas of Japan there's a, a sort of ancient tradition of repairing broken uh, ceramics using gold uh, and other like precious metals so that they look even more beautiful with all the cracks shining through them and I feel like that's kind of what your journey is as a person like if you are able to put yourself back together again you are um, stronger and more beautiful for the difficult things that you have faced but yeah not consciously anyway if you're being hurt, if someone hurt you or speak something or do something to you, how would you react? Well, because um, I'm an adult now, I try to uh, stay as mature as possible. I try not to react. I don't try to do too much nowadays anymore. Uh, I try to keep it as calm as possible, um, communicate what this person has done to me and how they've hurt me. If they don't understand, then I'm gonna have to move on, I guess. But usually you try to communicate how this person has hurt you. And if that doesn't work, then... Are you healed right now from the wounds of the past? No, no. But because I'm not healed, I've just, like, I know that I shouldn't be getting to know new people. So I've decided not to like engage with new people at the minute because I know I've got some individual healing to do. You see there, how many people, Mila, are still wounded? Yeah. How many people are wounded? And it's very sad that people are suffering. Mm -hmm. We saw there uh, this guy talking there. Mm -hmm. he, he recognized he's wounded. He, yeah. He's not ready. He's not looking to a relationship. We saw uh, uh, Drew Barrymore. Yeah. Three very sad. Three marriages. Three and failed marriages. She doesn't want to date anymore. Selena Gomez, so young. Yeah. Right. And but she, she had a big deception, right? I think she deception. really loved. Uh, what's the name Justin of Justin Bieber? Justin Bieber. Yeah. I think she she really invested in that. She really mm -hmm. thought it was gonna be it was gonna something work for out. life. Mm -hmm. And and she never dated again, and it's been years. Yeah. So it really hurt her that mm -hmm. he left, right? Uh, Keanu Reeves 
wow, what a tra tragedy. Yeah. I didn't know that that had happened to him. I think he lost his wife. And his baby. And the baby in an mm -hmm. accident. And it's been over 20 years. He doesn't want anyone. Yeah, I think he just started seeing someone, right? Yeah. As far as I understood. But yes. it's been a long time. So, so you see how people how people suffer in their love life mm -hmm. because of open wounds they were never healed. The Love Talk Show on Liberty Radio.